Hi guys, welcome to Biscuits with Icing. Today I'm playing Game Dev Tycoon. I have played it, I played it for a while, but that was like about six months ago. So I've probably forgotten everything already, but it, it's actually a pretty fun game. So basically in this game, you are a game dev and you are trying to work your way up into the world of the game development industry. And okay, company name. Let's go Biscuits with Icing. By the way, subscribe. Shameless plug. All right, player name. This is like a code name, totally. Oh, do I want to import all the previously gain, gained hints into the game? That's the pussy way out. We're not doing that. Okay. Develop new game. Okay, what should it be? Let's get a hacking game going. Uh, let's make it uh, an action game for the G64 and it's going to be called What that wasn't a reference to anything at all. Okay, what's important in a hacking action game? So now you got to compare and you can't just like increase them infinitely because it's proportionate. So, you know, you kind of want to go um I'm thinking gameplay is important in an action game. Jin, maybe less so. Story and quests kind of important. Okay, let's do that. Now you wait. Um, dialogue's not that important. Artificial intelligence should be important in level design. Okay, so now there are three bugs and I gotta wait for them to be fixed. And now that you fix them all, I'm done. Oh, these are shit. Well, screw you two, Star Games. Oh, wow. Truly insightful interview. Thanks for the compliment. Still gave me a three anyway. Alright, so here's what I can do, right? I can um, generate a game report for this to see what went wrong. Hacking and action is a bad combination. Thanks. Sound is important, and platform drawn room match, it's good, okay. So now we have more information for the next time we want to make a game, which is now! Alright, let's make a medieval, oh, oh, RPG for the G64. No, you know what, we're going to make it for the PC. We're going to call it... Yeah. I'm going to make all these games, like, play on real life games. If you don't know what ground rim is supposed to be a joke for, please reevaluate your life. I'm kind of just going off actual Skyrim right now, so like world design is super important. And like I'll just be like that. Okay. Haha, <laughs> thanks watch cats. All right, ground rim is ready. All right. <gasps> God damn you. You taunted me with a 10, and then you just... No. Well, screw you too, Informed Gamer. Screw you too. Come on. No. Uh, no. That was meh. Oh, great. We have 18 fans. If only we had that many fans for Biscuits with Icing in real life. And yes, I'm talking to you, Jasmine and Onion, who are probably the only other people watching this video at this moment. Whoa, we sold 10k units. If only we could get that many views on our videos. Hunting game. Hunting adventure game. For the G64. And it'll be called... Uh, Alright. An adventure game, so I save it there, like that. Okay. Nivendo? Wow, what could that be? Dinky King? Wow, what could that be in real life? So, like, this whole thing kind of follows the actual timeline of the gaming industry. Give me the reviews! Okay, this looks shit. Oh, you said okay, too. Cool. Wow, adventure games work well on the G64. Gee, thanks. 
for giving me a four, asshole. Kidding! Let's just say that by this time in my last game, I've al I already made like this one game that was like a freaking hit. Um, here's what we're gonna do, right? Hacking simulation game for the PC, because simulation games on the PC, man. And we're gonna be. Yes, I'm parodying shows too. Oh, the TES! Wow! Why didn't they call it NES since Nintendo starts with an N? Hmm. By the power of Rami Malik. If you don't get that, you should watch Mr. Robot because it is actually the best show. Alright. Give me that high score! Are you serious? This was a freaking great game. I'm really upset now. You played it for days, but you only gave it an 8. Oh, you. Okay, fine. <sighs> this is difficult. Being a game developer is difficult, I say, as I just click buttons and generate games like that. Wow, I'm in year two, month two, week three. I've already been holed up in my basement, never leaving it once, for two years. Okay, let's research so we can get a new topic. Uh, let's get that dungeon game out there. Huh? So, like, when you do game reports and stuff, and sometimes when you make games, you generate research, and you can use those research to basically um, research more things so that you can make your stuff better. And that used about 50 RP. I have some money. I can sustain myself. I can sustain my lifestyle of living in the basement. Now that I have dungeon, I can make an RPG and um, let's make it for the TES. Yeah, we're gonna get the license and dungeon RPG. I've never really played this game, but no. Diablo is ready. Release the game. Also, the Kraken. Oh, 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 it's like, oh, it's outstanding, bitches. Oh, Informed Gamer, you're a hard one to please. Uh, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, so we've been at it for about 15 minutes, so let me show you what happens when... This is three months ago. Let me see what happens when you're in year 32, month 7. Oh, month 8, sorry, week 1. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what I'm doing now is just making game engines just so I can get more research. Um, popular genre strategy. Alright, let's make... Ah. Ah. Okay, develop a new game. Oh yeah, and then you can develop sequels after that. You know what, let's make a sequel. Team Jacob, because it was a werewolf game. Hey, Obama's a real person. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, like, really long ago, I made this game. Right at the beginning, uh, it was called Predicting Obama because, like, this took place in, like, I don't know, the 70s? And it was a government... Yeah, yeah, it was a whole thing. That guy in the unmarked... <laughs> I called the game that guy in the unmarked van? This was for you, Onion. I know you didn't know about it, and I just did this in my room alone. Which is kind of creepy, actually. But it was for you! Okay, I'm gonna make a sequel to it, but we remember this one. This is a classic. It's all the way back in year 9. This is- it's been like... Like... 23 years in the making. I can math. 32 minus 9 is 23. But we remember this one. Or did we? Get it? Because we didn't remember for 23 years. Yeah, hell yeah, action RPG. 
we're gonna get it on the PC and the M box. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. And the play system four. What could that be in real life? Oh, and this thing called hype. It's starting. The hype is real. We're getting people hyped out about this game. As you can see, there are a lot more bubbles going everywhere. It's not just me working alone. I have a whole team now. And like we're hitting the hundreds easily. I was hitting. I was barely scraping ten. Sure, let's talk about it. It's gonna be great. Hype it. We're gonna hype it. If it turns out to be shit, I'm gonna suffer for saying that. Alright. Um Dialogue's not super important, right? Action uh, level, level design. We're gonna make level design important. Joe Smogby, you're putting you in artificial intelligence. Look, I have a lot of things. I have like open world, day and night cycle, virtual economy, rich backstory, whatever. These are all, all things I researched. I did spend a lot of time in this game. I did. But hype is reaching unreal levels! Okay, so there's a game convention, and uh, it's called G3. I wonder what that is in real life. <coughs> Not E3. Uh, I'm gonna get a large booth because I'm freaking re rich. I have like $382.2 million. So we're gonna do that. Some of my employees are getting tired. Alright, this was the G3 convention. Let's see how many people visited the booth. This is gonna go on for a while. I assure you, I will have a lot of people visiting the booth. Alright, 1.6 million! Okay. We're in the number one booth this year, awesome. I feel like I've been the number one booth for a really long time now. Alright, new record for both. Oh, it's a new combo? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Outstanding game. Cool. This seems oddly familiar. Okay. That well, okay. I did. I got like a seven point seven five or something. Great responses. Real be driving technical innovation. Yes, it was about twenty two. 23 years after the oh now it's now it's been like 24 years uh, yeah the predict it would be an uber success oh yeah I was right so I gotta send my employees on vacation but that should be the end of this video maybe you could go on vacation too so thank you for watching if you like this video click on this door to watch more videos and if you really like this video click on this vending machine over here to hold on let me close this click on this vending machine over here to subscribe thanks and i will see you again next time bye